All right, so first we're gonna start off with this by Beauty Agave, um, what is this? Mm, sugar lip scrub, no, Agave lip balm. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> it's thicker than a regular chapstick. All right, so for primer, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pearl Filter Primer. So for brows, I'm gonna take the NYX Precision Brow in the shade Ash Brown. All right, guys, so today we'll be getting into this baby. So excited. All right, guys, so I can't wait anymore. We're gonna go ahead and dig in. All right, so first with my Morphe N504 brush, I'm gonna go in with the shade Pukey, and I'm just gonna put that in my transition area. Um, next, we do have one that's ache. There's so many colors. I am headed to class, so I don't wanna do anything too extravagant, but, you know. I feel like being a little extra. So I'm gonna take Hunt on a Morphe M513 brush and put that in my crease. Oh gee, Willikers. Look at that. Can y'all see that? I'm gonna take the shade Jax on the Morphe 217 brush and start to deepen up like that outer V. This looks like a, a deep maroon shade, but we're gonna see. One other thing, Fallout has not been my biggest enemy this tutorial. Like, Fallout has not been bad, which is awesome. I could've did my foundation first then if I had a known. To cut my crease, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. This is in the shade 3.5. I'm going to take the shade Firework. And then I'm going to take the shade Bam. Kind of did like a, <laughs> kind of attempted to do like a halo thing. All right, so I'm about to do my face and everything, and then I will come back the eyes. Alright, so since we used the Fenty Pro Filter Primer today, we're going to use the Pro Filter Foundation as well. I'm in the shade 370. Alright, so for concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC35. Following that, I'm going to set my face with the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder. After that, I'm going to use my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade 10. Following that, I'm going to take my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleo Bronzer and just warm up my face. All right, guys, so after the face is complete, we're going to go back into our eyes. And I'm going to go back in with my MAC 2 217 brush. Is that the brush that I use? And start to really just blend that out seamlessly. All right, so then I'm going to take my Morphe M432 brush. It's just like a flat shader brush. And then I'm going to take the shade. I'm going to take the shade Hunt and go along my lower lash line with that. All right, so next for mascara, I'm gonna use the uh, Colossal Big Shot Mascara on my top lashes, and then the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash for my lower lashes. All right, so I feel like being a little extra, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Liquid Crystal in the shade Crystal Gold, and I'm just gonna outline that um, line where I cut my crease. All right, so while my lashes are drying, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten gold. On second thought, instead of those, I'm going to put on some Salon Perfect 615. I think these will be more um, manageable today. All right, so for lip liner, we're going to use the Rimmel London Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade Coffee Bean. Well, guys, I guess for lipstick, I like the way that looks. All right, guys, so last but not least, we're going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Spray, Makeup Setting Spray. I'm just going to spray this all over my face. 
all right guys so this is the finished makeup look um overall verdict of the jaclyn hill palette is definitely a 10 out of 10 i love this palette i can see me reaching for this palette a lot this fall season i would definitely recommend you guys go spend that 38 dollars and go get that palette because this palette seriously you can take it with you traveling you won't have to bring like a bunch of individual shadows or you won't have to put together a palette with like individual individual eyeshadow pans you can just take this palette and i guarantee you, you will be good for your trip and what one other thing that i love about this palette is it's so versatile you can make some neutral looks also some colorful looks and you can just um let your mind go wild on this palette but i hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will talk to you guys in the next one.